Shadow and Flame is the debut album of English band Acarontia Stinks. Or is it? Well, it's not that easy. Um, the band has um, already well recorded um, their debut album back in 2009, but then the release was cancelled due to some severe issues with the record label. I don't know much about this, but um, now finally we have the proper debut of Acarontia Sticks, Shadow and Flame. The, um, there have been some big changes in the lineup, so um, we could also speak of the new Acarontia Sticks here if you want to. Mm. What's it about? Well, this is some intense death metal. So uh, even though Acarontia Sticks do not hesitate to add some melody here and there, you should not expect them to take any prisoners. This one is intense. Uh, there are some uh, staccato leads, especially in the earlier part, or in the well, first half of the album, which adds some black metal influence, this, you know, Nordic cold air. And um, overall, the album is defined by a huge variety. So it reaches from brutal on the one hand, to cold in the middle, to even symphonic parts. So definitely a very interesting album to listen to. And um, while the beginning of the album is more melodic, as it goes on, it becomes more brutal and more rough. Um, it's just beautiful to listen to. Kind of reminds me of uh, Lamb of God or Cataclysm here and there, especially the uh, uh, later Cataclysm um, era. My key tracks for this are Hurricane of Pains, like a really beautiful old school death metal hymn. If you're more into um, melodic death metal, you will probably love The Cursed Love. Ah, uh, finally, As Above, So Below. This is a gorgeous one for the headbangers, so this will destroy your neck. Uh, to sum up, I think uh, Acarontia Sticks have found a very good relation between propriality or brutality on the one hand and melody on the other, and it is definitely a very good album to cool full throttle on the highway. <laughs>